हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा गुरु महाराज हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा गुरु महाराज गुरु महाराज वी आर नॉट एबल टू सी द वीडियो योर वीडियो वी आर वी आर नॉट एबल टू सी योर वीडियो ओ रियली ओके या ओके हरे कृष्णा Please accept my humble obeisance. How are you? Fine, thank you. Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna, Prabhu. So we can have some kirtan, Vaishnavi. Yes, Guru Maharaj. Ah, uh, yeah, yes, Guru Maharaj. Simon is there, and then uh, uh, if you talk, we we should video. Uh, okay, Vaishnavi, we have video or we video or white video. Anything is fine. I uh, don't video of uh, with video. With video. With a video. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, Simon, uh, Guru Maharaj, uh, uh, do you want to lead, or do you want uh, Simon to lead the kirtan? Yes, yeah, Simon can lead. Uh, okay. Simon, you can leave the kirtan and we can take turns in singing the Hare Krishna. Okay. Yeah, so we can maybe we can follow this order: myself, Piranglo, Malavika, Ramya, Hema, Vijay, and Vimala. Okay. Yeah. Yes. I should also sing. Guru Maharaj. Well. What's where's my place in the order? Ah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, maybe. Uh, okay, Simon, Guru Maharaj, and then uh, Piranglo, then uh, it will be like that. So each time Simon will lead, and then I will sing, and then Simon will sing again, and then you will sing like that. Is it? Yes. Yes. Yes, Guru Maharaj. Okay. Yes. Thank you for uh, yeah clarifying. Okay, Simon Prabhu, you can start. Uh, after uh, Guru Maharaj. No, you sing. Uh, I will sing after uh, you. Okay. Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadakara Shri Vasanti Gaura Pakta Vadinda. Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda. Shri Hatvaita Gadadhar Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadhaka Shri Vasari Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Kuranglo Prabhu Jaya Shri Krishna
Hare Krishna? Iya. Oke. Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Krishna
Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Simon please continue Hare Krishna Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama. Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare 
कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम राम हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 Hare Krishna, Hare Hare, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Sign up, please. Hare Krishna, Hare Hare, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare
Sankirtan ki. Jai. Srila Prabhupada ki. Jai. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Today we have uh, 13 participants, Guru Maharaj. Okay. You, uh, yeah. So, yes. The line is a little unstable, sometimes breaking. So, okay, no problem, Guru okay, Maharaj. We'll do our best. Yeah, we can do, yeah, we can try our best. Thank you, Guru Maharaj, for your time. I don't know. Did you see this before? Uh, no, Guru Maharaj. Last Yuga is called Satya Yuga. Oh. Okay, so we'll try again. <laughs> yes, yes, Guru Maharaj. Maybe if the internet is not very good, uh, then we can go just for without the presentation also, Guru Maharaj. But we can try now. Yeah. Okay. Maybe maybe if they put maybe we turn off their videos. Everybody turn off. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, I don't. Yes, know. maybe we can all. Yeah. Yes, or, yes, Guru Maharaj. We can turn off all our videos. Okay, can can everyone see this? Uh, yes, Guru Maharaj. Yes, Guru Maharaj. Okay. Yes, Guru Maharaj. Yes. Okay. Satya Yuga. Satya Yuga, right. Meditation on Lord Vishnu. With Satya Yuga, people lived a very long life, you know. They lived a life like 100,000 years. Inconceivable by our civilization standards. But in Satya Yuga, People were very pious and religious. Everyone was like a Paramahansa, with very good qualities. So they lived a very long life and they would practice yoga and they would do this kind of meditation 
on Lord Vishnu and in this way achieve the goal of life. And then the next age is called Treta Yuga. And in Treta Yuga, the process is sacrifice. You can see in the illustration, they're offering yagya, offering the ghee and chanting the mantras into the sacred fire. In this way, performing sacrifice. This is the Treta Yuga. People were not as pious as in Satya Yuga, so they lived a shorter life. They lived for about 10,000 years. That was Treta Yuga. And then after that, Dwapar Yuga. And Dwapar Yuga, the process was temple worship. People were less pious again. They were, the piety was reduced in each age. In Dwapar Yuga, people lived 1,000 years. Not as long as in Treta Yuga or Satya Yuga, because not as pious. The quality of life was reduced, the qualities were reduced, so the lifestyle also reduced. So that was Dwapara Yuga, the last Yuga. And then the next age, the present age, called Kali Yuga. Kali Yuga means like the age of iron. The other ages, Satya Yuga is the golden age, Treta Yuga, silver, Dwapara Yuga, copper, and this Kali Yuga, <laughs> the fourth age. We have practically no piety. We don't live very long life. If you live a hundred years, you're very great. Most people don't manage that. So you can, and as Kali Yuga goes on, people become more and more affected by the age. The duration of life is reduced as we go on Kali Yuga. Well, if you live to be 30, 40, you'll be considered very old. So the process in the Kali Yuga has to be very quick and very powerful. So in this age Kali Yuga, the process is chanting the holy names as we were just doing chanting the holy names of God, the Supreme Lord. We don't just chant any God's name, we chant the names of the Supreme Lord. And we, by doing that, we get the greatest benefit. We want to show you what other religions say about chanting the holy name. For example, Christianity, they say, the Lord's holy, glorify the holy name, by saying, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Right? That's a standard Christian prayer. We offer prayers like that. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. We want to chant. Hallow means to chant the name. Chant the names of God. And Sikhism, this is a, the, guru, the Guru Nanak. He's the first guru in the Sikh religion. So he also chants. He was also chanting in the morning. He said, I meditate on the grace of the true name. Islam. They also chant. You will see the Muslim people, they carry their prayer beads with them. And they, they chant the sacred name of God as Allah. Allah meaning the Almighty One. And Buddhism. They're also chanting something. They practice repetition of one of the names. The, one, the name I know they chant is Omitofo. In, in Taiwan, they chant this name, Omitofo. Here, here they put the English equivalent, Nama Amida Butsa. Amida Butsu. I don't know where they got that from. <laughs> but usually it's Amita Buddha is the, name of, uh, is the name of one of the great Buddhist preachers. So they like to chant the name. Amita Buddha, he took a, a, he took a vow. He said he would not accept liberation until, until all the other souls are delivered. So like that. They're also chanting, doing chanting. 
Then Sanatan Dharma recommends chanting the holy name. We are following this Sanatan Dharma. We are chanting mantra to control the mind. Ma, the mind and try to free. So we do our japa. We were just doing kirtan, but we can also do japa, chanting the maha mantra. Here you can see some devotees, they're doing another kind of japa. They're doing what we call sankirtan, or sometimes we say street sankirtan, because we go in the street often and chant. So you can see the devotees are very joyful, happy, chanting the holy name of the Lord. And there are many references to the chanting of the names of the Lord. Here's some different scriptural references. Narayana Samhita. In the age of Kali, people should chant the holy name of the Lord. This is Kali Santara Upanishad. Kali Santara Upanishad. Upanishads means part of the Vedas. So after searching through all the Vedas, one cannot find a method more sublime than the chanting of Hare Krishna. This is how it's stated in the Upanishads. Here from the Chaitanya Charitamrita, one of the Bengali uh, scriptures about the life of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Meaning, in the age of quarrel, Kali Yuga is called the age of quarrel, because people in Kali Yuga, they have a lot of bad, bad qualities. They like to argue a lot, and they never admit they're wrong. So in this age of quarrel and hypocrisy, the only means of deliverance is chanting the holy name. There's no other way, no other way, no other way. The repetition is there to add emphasis, and also to tell us, not by karma, not by jnana, not by yoga, only by, what's the only way? The only way is by, who knows, what's the only way? Anybody know? Bhakti. Huh? Bhakti. Bhakti ba yoga. Bhakti yoga, okay. Yoga of devotion, yeah. This is from the Srimad Bhagavatam, meaning Kali Yuga is full of faults. I was saying uh, the faults in the Kali Yuga, people are, they live a short life, they're lazy, they're misguided, they're unlucky, they're always disturbed. So Kali Yuga is full of faults, but there's one good thing about this age. Simply by chanting Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, one can become free from bondage and promoted to the transcendental kingdom. Who, who wants to go to the transcendental kingdom? Anybody interested? I would like to go, yes, Maharaj. Oh, really? You can take me with you. Yeah, yeah maybe you can take me with you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's go together, huh? Okay. Very, yes. Very nice. Hare Krishna. And then from Bhagavad Gita, Krishna mentions about Bhag in Bhagavad Gita, sometimes people say, where in Bhagavad Gita does Krishna say, we have to chant, well it's there, in the 10th chapter, 25th sloka. Yagnanam japa yagnosmi, Krishna is saying, of, sac of sacrifices, I am the chanting of the holy names, japa. So it's right there in the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna recommends it. Here's another verse from the Chaitanya Charitamrita. Chaitanya Charitamrita is like Bengali literature was written 500 years ago based on all the teachings of Lord Chaitanya. So I say, in your holy name there is all good fortune, therefore you have many names like Krishna, Govinda, you've invested all your powers in your name. There, there are no hard and fast rules for remembering them. Yeah, no rules. Up to, we just try to remember. Another verse from Srimad Bhagavatam, devotional service begins with the chanting of the holy name. 
It's the ultimate religious principle for the living entities in human society. Very important, very powerful. We get so much benefit from chanting the holy name. Those who are actually advanced in knowledge are able to appreciate the value of this age of Kali. Such enlightened persons worship Kali Yuga because in this fallen age all perfection can be easily achieved by performance of Sankirtan. Sankirtan, we were just doing, coming together, singing Hare Krishna. Just by doing these things in the Kali Yuga, we can get so much benefit. Okay, some points about chanting, some things we should do. We say, before chanting Hare Krishna mantra, chant, first chant the Panchatattva mantra. Right? We were chanting Panchatattva mantra. Panchatattva means five names. Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya. Krishna Chaitanya, that's one name. And then Prabhu Nityananda, another name. Sri Advaita, the third name. Gadarhar, the fourth name. And Srivas Adigor Bhaktavinda. That's the last name. So Panchatattva. Pancha means five truths. So we chant those five names. Sri Krishna Chaitanya, Prabhu Nityananda, Sri Advaita, Gadadhar, Srivas Adi Gaur Bhakta Vrinda. Adi Gaur Bhakta Vrinda means all the devotees together. So we chant Panchatattva Mantra first and then chant Hare Krishna. Because Panchatattva Mantra, we're coming to Lord Chaitanya and Lord Chaitanya is bringing us to Krishna. Lord Chaitanya is taking us home. He's bringing us to the shelter of Lord Krishna's lotus feet. So we're very grateful to Lord Chaitanya. We come to him first and he takes us, he shows us how to come to Krishna by chanting Hare Krishna mantra. So there's the mantra for you. In the center, with both arms raised, Sri Krishna Chaitanya. Then Prabhu Nityananda is on Lord Chaitanya's right. You can see with the blue, the blue cloth around his waist. That's Nityananda, Prabhu Nityananda. And then with the beard, the white beard and the arms folded, that is Sri Advaita. And then over on the other side of Lord Chaitanya, with both arms up in the air, with the red cloth, that is Gadadhar. And the person in the front, with the shaved head, folding his hands, that is Srivas. And then Adi Gaur Bhakta Vrinda means all the other devotees. So that's the Panchatattva mantra. We take the blessing from the Panchatattva and then we come to chant Hare Krishna. So something we should do, when we chant, try to chant loudly, loud enough to hear the mantra. We say the louder you chant, the more powerful it becomes. So it's very good for us. Don't be shy, you can chant loudly and you get more benefit. And try to pronounce each of the names distinctly. Don't just only mumble. Don't just say the names very softly. Try to say the names out clearly. And chant with the right mood, with devotion and concentration. That's very important. The mood should be right. And we can chant any place. Sitting, walking, facing any direction, any time of the day or night. There's a story that Lord Chaitanya was going to toilet and Lord Chaitanya had the habit of always chanting. So he thought, this is not good. So he covered up his mouth, he tied up his mouth because he, saw, he thought, I don't want to chant in the toilet. It's not very good if I go in the toilet and I chant the names of the Lord. 
so he tied up his mouth so he couldn't chant. But then another young devotee, a very small boy, young boy, he said to Lord Chaitanya, he said, Oh Mahaprabhu, why are you doing like this? He said, you may die in the toilet. You have to be able to chant. So Mahaprabhu thought for a minute and he said, Oh yes, you're right. You're my guru. And he took off the cloth and he, <laughs> he said, we, could, we should chant in everywhere. So you're taking bath, you're using the toilet, you can chant, not a problem. But we don't chant on our beats everywhere, of course. That's a different thing. But we can chant any time, doesn't matter. Some people may think, oh, is, this is not a good time. No, any time is good. Best time is very early morning, called Brahma Muhurta, meaning a little before sunrise, we have what is called the Mangal Arti. Mangal Arti in the temple takes place 4.30 in the morning. So that's the Brahma Mahurta. And after the Mangal Arti, then we sit and chant. It's a very good time, early in the morning, nice and quiet, mind is peaceful, and you can chant with concentration. And you can chant Somebody may say, oh, I need to take bath first. No, not necessarily. You can chant any time, before or after taking bath. Chanting the holy name itself is taking bath. You take a bath in the holy name. But we do recommend you to keep a count of how much you're chanting. Right? We chant on the beats. The beads should have 108 on them. And we chant round the beads. That's one round, 108. If you chant 108 mantras, one round. So you try to chant more rounds. Initiated devotees, they make a vow to chant 16 rounds. Minimum 16 rounds. And some people chant more. But you do need to keep account. You should know how much chanting you're doing because you don't want to minimize, you don't want to reduce. You want to chant more each time. So some, some things we should not do, shouldn't just chant only a bit of the mantra. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, uh, and then stop, you know. <laughs> no, chant the whole mantra. Don't just chant part. And no chanting on the Krishna beat. The big bead on the, on the mala, that's representing Krishna. We chant on the beads around that beat, but we don't chant on that beat. We chant around on all the other beats. We don't recommend you to chant while you're reading a book or watching television. Just do one thing at a time. Either you're going to chant or you're going to read the book, or watch television, decide what you want to do. But it's not good chanting. If you hold the beats and at the same time watch television or read the book. What kind of benefit do we get from chanting? One benefit is we get freedom from the sins which we have done. Not only from this life, from many lives. We get freed from bad habits. We all have a lot of bad habits and this will, the chanting will help us to get rid of these things. We'll become free of stress and anxiety. You can see the devotees here, they're very happy, very joyful looking young men. They don't have any anxiety or stress. More devotees, more men. Young man enjoying chanting and dancing. Here you can see young men in America, in Detroit, on the streets there, chanting. Maybe you've seen this man before. This was the George Harrison who helped us to make the recording of the Hare Krishna mantra and the Govinda song. He was a famous musician, a member of the Beatles. So he had a great interest in, in Krishna and he loved Prabhupada very much. He also chants, he said here, it's really a process 
of having realization of God. Right? He could understand what this is all about. He knew that we're presenting God. We're helping people to understand who is God and how to serve Him. Another devotee, he works in 3M in France. He has a big managerial position, only 29 years old. He said, everything started happening when I began chanting Hare Krishna. The holy name, so powerful, helps everyone. Here is Ambarish Prabhu, sitting under the portrait of Prabhupada. He's one of the, one of the owners of Ford Motor Company. And he's an initiated disciple of Srila Prabhupada. And he's building this Mayapur temple. He put many millions of dollars into the construction of our Mayapur temple. So he said, chanting Hare Krishna has a tremendous impact in my life. N.D. Desai from Mumbai. Industrialist, businessman. He also chants Hare Krishna. He met Prabhupada. He did not get initiation from Prabhupada. He was just starting to come in 1977. But he saw Prabhupada and he was very impressed with Prabhupada. So he said, I've been chanting Hare Krishna for many years. I've never found anything more pleasurable. Just try to chant five to ten minutes a day for a week and you'll feel the difference. This is Rishikesh Muffetlal, right? Muffetlal Fabrics, a big cloth company in India. He's the CEO. So he's a, he's a friend of N.D. Desai. So he said, chanting Hare Krishna has helped me face ups and downs in my life with great confidence and peace of mind because not easy running a business, especially cloth. They have a lot of competition from China. <laughs> China tries to make everything cheaper, take over all the market. So it's very competitive business. So he has a lot of stress. So he takes advantage to chant Hare Krishna. These are very old pictures, by the way, not new. I, we, did, I, we did this PowerPoint presentation a long time ago. This lady here, Dutch model, with the devotees chanting in Paris. You can see she's on the cover page of Vogue magazine. She said, chanting Hare Krishna helped me give up bad habits, changed my vision of things. She became happy. Another young woman, also model, you can see her picture there, and you can see on the right, she's wearing a sari and tea like. On the other pictures, you know, it's all makeup and fashion, but she gave it all up to become a devotee. And she married to a devotee man, and now she has nice tea like, and she wears a sari. She doesn't have to wear all these awful new fashions and, and put so much makeup on her face and so many things she has to do with her hair. So she's much happier as a devotee. Yeah, she said, I feel tremendous happiness. You can see from her face, she's happy. This man from Italy, he's a furniture business. He also met Prabhupada, came to Vrindavan. He was looking for a guru. He came to Vrindavan and somehow he met Prabhupada. He met Prabhupada, he came there, he put a lot of money in the, in the box in Prabhupada's room and then they were searching, who put all this money in the box? Because when they opened the donation box in Prabhupada's room, there was so much money there. They were surprised, what happened? How come there's so much money here? Then they remember this man had come. They found out he had a furniture business. 
So, you know, he was very interested in Krishna consciousness and he is still practicing today. He's brought many people to Krishna consciousness in Italy. The chanting makes me feel close to God. Well, Italy is a Catholic country. People believe in God. So it's very nice to preach there. Young man from Florida, Florida University, he did a paper, he did his master's paper on the effects of chanting Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. And he showed by his research how more in the mode of goodness and more peaceful and more happier by chanting the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. His paper was very much appreciated by the people in the university. So he says here, Maha Mantra significantly reduces stress, depression, and the mode of ignorance and considerably increases the mode of goodness. So this is what we want, right? We want to increase the mode, we want to reduce the ignorance and the depression and stress. We want to increase the mode of goodness. It all happens by chanting Hare Krishna. The young man has a food store, health food store. Health food stores popular these days. So he's also chanting Hare Krishna. So I start my day on a spiritual note by chanting Hare Krishna. I can make it through the day in a pleasant mood. Very important. You want to go through the day in a pleasant mood? You have to chant Hare Krishna. Start the day like that. A housewife, Mrs. Grace Aquista Pace, chanting opened my eyes to things I never noticed, like beautiful music, very peaceful feeling, very satisfying. Hmm. She's a housewife, but she's appreciating the power of the holy name. This is Paul Blair. In the printing industry, we, the devotees met him because we do a lot of printing books. They were quite a stressing job. He said, when I'm stressed out, I chant. It's one thing which charges my batteries, clears my mind, brings me back in focus. So in his kind of work, he needs something like that, something to you know, take his mind off all the tension, all the problems, all the anxieties. So chanting helps. Mrs. Sally Raleigh, merchandiser, she says, When I'm nervous, I find chanting very calming. I don't get shaken up at little things. That's very important. You know, some people, they're easily shaken up, just a little thing, and they get so, so angry, and they get, start shouting and yelling. But she said, when I'm nervous, I just chant. It helps me to control my mind, become detached from the situation. Some devotees are in military service. Bruce Kleinberg, army officer, young man. My outlook toward life is a lot more brighter after starting to associate with Hare Krishna devotees and chanting the Maha Mantra. Very nice, huh? He appreciates how his life has changed, how his outlook on life is much brighter, much more positive through the association of devotees and hearing the philosophy and chanting Hare Krishna also. Jane Lanner, jewelry designer. Jewelry designer, we have a lot of jewelry designers in Hong Kong. I don't know, she's from Hong Kong. But she said, chanting makes me more perceptive, more in harmony with everything and everyone around me. Very important to be in harmony. Chanting helps us to come to that kind of level, that kind of consciousness. 
from the academic field, Dr. Donald R. Tuck, Associate Professor, Western Kentucky University. Oh, sorry. I've noticed that as chanters progress from one level to deeper level, they become more realistic, more tolerant, and more energetic. <laughs> we need to do more chanting. We need to go to higher levels or deeper levels, as he said. We can become more realistic, more tolerant, and hopefully more energetic. That will be very nice. I need some energy. So it's encouraging for us to know we if we improve our chanting, we can become more energetic. Ramesh Lal Prabhu from Toronto, he has a health spa there. He says, chanting Hare Krishna, reading books on Krishna consciousness has brought me great peace. Not just going in the health spa, chanting Hare Krishna and reading books, that brought him the peace. Not just going in the health spa. So, we should also chant the Maha Mantra and be happy. Hare Krishna. So, this is it's the presentation for today. Just to encourage everyone in the chanting of Hare Krishna, we want you to know you're not alone. There are many other people around the world who are also chanting Hare Krishna. Of course, not a lot, not a great number, but more and more people chanting. It's certainly beneficial for everyone to do this chanting. I encourage all of you also, you do this. It's not a waste of time. It's very important. So those of you who are only doing one round, you want to increase. You don't want to get stuck on one round and think, oh, it's enough. You want to always try to do a little more because the teachers have said, you know, like Prabhupada, he set the standard. Initially, he wanted 64 rounds, and then he brought it down 32, and still devotees had to, then he's all right, 16. But he said 16 is last place. You cannot get any more discount. That's it, final price. Must do at least 16 rounds every day. And you should also do service for Krishna. So 16 rounds takes about two hours. Two hours of meditation on the holy name will be very, have a very powerful effect on our mind and on our concentration. We will feel how our energy level increases. We will feel more positive. Try to do the chanting. Okay, any questions? Anyone has any problems or questions? Thank you. Don't uh, question. Guru Maharaj, I have a small doubt. In the presentation, you have said that uh, we have to do distinct, like we uh, we should be, uh, clearly tell out the names. But sometimes if we do like that, uh, for me the chanting takes more time, like for 16 rounds I take uh, two and a half to two hours, 50 minutes. Is that okay or is it too long? No, it's no problem. Many devotees are chanting three hours or sometimes like that. So don't worry. Okay. It'll take a little longer. There's no time, there's no rules about the chanting. There's no rules about the time. But the more time you spend trying to chant, the better, the more benefit you get. So you spend a little okay. more time. It's worth a little more time to chant the name of the Lord. Because the name of the Lord is the Lord Himself. He's there in the name. The, the, the name is, is Krishna Himself. So we have to handle it very res respectfully. 
if we chant, you know, some people, they may chant and it sounds like snick, snick, ram, ram, snick, snick, ram, ram, you know. <laughs> they don't chant very, very clearly, you know. So, uh, one, de one devotee had a dream and he had a dream and in his dream he, he came across this form. And there was this, it was, it was like a, a form in the temple, it was like a deity. But it was very awful looking, and he, you know, he and he saw this form, and he, he said, "Who is this? What is this?" And the the deed, the, this form said, "I'm that snake, snake, ram, ram that you're always chanting." <laughs> he said, "I'm <laughs> snake, snake, ram." So uh, you know, we want to chant the name, we want to pronounce it, try to pronounce the yes. name clearly, Krishna. Yes. The nectar, of course, sometimes the pronunciation will be will vary a little. For example, in Russia, uh -huh. Russian people will say Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, right? They don't say Krishna, they say Krishna, Krishna. Yeah, but that's not a problem. The, 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 the pronunciation is not the problem. But it should be, okay. it should be clear, it should be distinct. Chinese devotees also, okay. their pronunciation will be a little different, but still it can be understood when they chant. It can be understood very well. But if we're, if we're just lazy, we don't want to enunciate the name properly, then it's not good. We want to really, mm. we want to really concentrate and try our best to chant the name clearly. Distinctly. Yes, mm. Guru Maharaj. I have heard some people uh, like uh, this chant Hare Krishna or sometimes Hare Krishna, which is better, Guru Maharaj. Everything is the same. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Sometimes we also chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, like that means uh, Krishna, Krishna, like that. Yeah, no problem. Just the same. No problem. No. Okay. Yeah, yeah not a problem. Yeah. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Mm -hmm. Lord Chaitanya is very merciful. And I, he has so kindly given us a holy name to chant. So there's a nice prayer by one devotee who was a disciple of Lord Chaitanya. And he said, no one knows how much nectar there are in these two syllables. Krishna. 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 And there's so much nectar in these syllables. And he said, when I chant the holy name, I wish I had many tongues to chant. And when the sound of the holy name enters my ears, I wish I had many ears to chant or, or to hear the holy name with. And when the holy name enters into my heart, then it conquers the activities of the mind and all my senses become inert, they lose their powers. So in this way he's glorifying the power of the holy name, the chanting of the holy name. So it's, it's uh, the basic part, the most important part of our practice of bhakti yoga, the chanting of the Hare Krishna mantra. And we're practicing, you know, we're practicing just like we were doing kirtan, we're practicing to chant. We know we're not perfect yet, we still have a way to go, but we keep practicing. And practice makes perfect. <laughs> right? We say, uh, you, have to, you have to chant. The, 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 just like when you have, when we have jaundice, in the India, you get jaundice in this hot summer, and so it's, uh, it's recommended to drink sugar cane. But when you take the sweet juice, it tastes very bitter because we're not healthy, because the liver is not functioning. But it's the only medicine and you have to keep taking it. It may be bitter, but you keep taking it and gradually you get better. So in the same way, the holy name, because we're materialistic and because we are conditioned and in the bodily concept of life, 
we don't take much pleasure in chanting the holy name. But the more we do it, the more we will experience the pleasure and the more we will come to the higher level of consciousness and realization. So it all comes by chanting. So we encourage everyone, chant, chant, chant. Okay, any other questions? Yes, good morning. Anybody has any? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. yes Maharaj, I, I have a question. I have, it's a, uh, just uh, following what you said now. How often that after all what I know about the benefits, chanting about the, um, the rules of doing it, uh, or the way to sing, to change, that I know all this, and why still I have troubles, I have problems just to practice this two rounds per day minimum, uh, like it's, every day it's, uh, uh, yeah, it's difficult, it's difficult, always difficult, and uh, sometimes I, I think, but I will never be able to make it, you know, <laughs> and, uh, so what is, uh, uh, it's just uh, laziness and uh, contamination, and, uh, yeah, it's, uh, well, difficult. how long does it take you to chant your two rounds? Oh, 15 minutes to 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Yes, yes. Not very long, yeah. You're fast. No, no. What, and when do you usually chant? In the morning or in the evening? In the morning, I like in the morning, yes. And you, you, you have a job, you're working? I, I have plenty of time. I have plenty of time. Mm. I'm working, yes, but I. You have that is free. Okay. Yeah. No. There is no really reasons why I should not do it. <laughs> but, <laughs> it's difficult. I don't know why. It's, um, I like to chat. You know, it's uh, years, and but and I understand everything, uh, the importance, and the, it's the way for Kali Yuga to get to go back to God. So it's a. Uh, and you, you've never, have you ever done more than two rounds in a day? Yes, yes. When I, when I was uh, in the temple, I was six, chanting 16 rounds, yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh when in Genève, there was a temple here many, many years ago. And, uh, mm -hmm. Oh, you, when the temple was in Geneva, you were staying there in the temple? Yes, 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 yes. Oh. Right. In 74, 77. Yeah. You stayed there for three, so, you know, three years? Yes, four years, yes, yes, yes. Oh, okay. But you never got, so, you never got initiation? No, I was too young, I was too young. I was 17, 18, I wasn't feeling ready. No. Okay. Okay, so you had a good experience of Krishna consciousness then? Yes. Fantastic, yes, yes, yes. And so Still five for chanting two rounds per day, you know, that's, that's, that's a very, I don't understand why, you know, <laughs> doing all these. Thank you. This was my question. Thank you. Uh -huh. oh, okay, Ma. Okay. Okay, Hare Krishna. Back again. Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj. Yeah. 
So where is that young man, the man speaking to, was telling me, chanting two rounds, what's his name? Tirangalo? Tirangalo? Yeah. Hare Krishna. Is he there? Tirangalo yeah. Prabhu, are you there? I was in the kitchen. I have to start to cook. Okay. You cook for yourself, is it? Sorry? You cook for yourself or you cook for Krishna? For uh, Krishna. <laughs> okay. Or for my family. I have a wife and a little, uh, little girl, six years old. Oh, okay. Very nice. Yes. yes. And we have a little altar in the kitchen. Huh. Are, they all, and, uh, are they vegetarian? Yes, yes. Good. Yeah, yeah. I have a chance. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. I have the chance that... Uh, of their association, yeah, yeah. And the other day she was asking my daughter, would be nice that Krishna comes out, because I have this picture of Krishna, a baby Krishna eating out of a pot, you know, eating uh, milk or uh, cream out of a big, huge pot. Yeah, right. And there, there we offer the food to him. And she said, would be nice if Krishna would come out of the picture and come here in the kitchen with us. <laughs> but he is here. He's here with us now. We just don't see him, but he's here with us. Yeah. So she was, uh, yeah, she would be pleased to see him. <laughs> yeah, That's great. Very nice. <laughs> so you do kirtan at home sometimes? Sometimes, yes. Okay. Sometimes, yes. Mm -hmm. Does your wife also, yeah. when, you, when they have the festival, when we have Janmashtami there, do you, do you bring the family? Do they all come? They came to Vaishnavi uh, sometime, yes. Vaishnavi, the, the, yeah, the Friday evening. Bhakti Sangha, yes. Yeah. Okay, good. But we chant around together sometime too. Oh, good. Yeah, they're japa. Oh, very yes, nice. Yeah. They also chant. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a chance, yes. But, uh, it's quite open-minded. You know, that's that's great. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you're not so bad. You're having some devotion there. You're you're still doing some. You're only doing two rounds, but of course you could do more chanting. But you're doing yes, a lot. Yes, you're, yes. you're doing. You you offer your food. You're vegetarian, and the family also not unfavorable to Krishna consciousness. Yes. So it's, mm. good. it's good. Yes. Yes. I'm grateful to Prabhupada. Very nice. Mm. Yeah, you met Prabhupada. Mm. Yeah. That was in the times of Guru Garanga, huh? Exactly, yeah, yeah. Exactly, yes, yes. Any other devotees still around from those days here in Geneva? Switzerland is Shankararanya. Shankararanya, okay. a Swiss German devotee. Uh, but uh, no, no more from that period, no. After the went in Zurich, and from there started uh, many, many Swiss German devotees. But from uh, yeah, there is one is living still around is a uh, um, Chandra Pati. Chandra Pati is uh, living uh, in Zurich. Me. No, in 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 a little um, valley up in the mountains of Genève here. Okay. And he's a bad disciple. Uh oh. Yeah, it's a very nice man. Not many from that time. Anyway, in Geneva, we were a little temple and a few devotees, mostly Americans or French people coming to help the blow up in Geneva. But in Geneva, it wasn't a real success, let's say. After many years, not many people joined. It was like that. But after in Zurich, there, ISKCON developed quite, uh, quite a lot. Yeah, yeah. But I was not part of the experience anymore. I, I was gone before. Okay. Yes. 
Your home is Geneva. You're, you're a Geneva man, yeah? Exact, exact. Yes. Prabhupada came here in Geneva to, to save me, so I have to, to have Vaishnavi here in Geneva. Okay, very good. Nice. the Krishna consciousness, yes. Yeah, good. Okay, Prabhu, very nice. Thank you. Krishna, Hare Krishna. Thank you. Hare Krishna, Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Okay, Vaishnavi. So, I think. Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj. Yeah. Then just finish. I'll finish there and leave you with it. Yeah. Yes, Guru Maharaj. Nice to meet the. Thank you very much, Guru Maharaj. Get Sorry. Know, nice to get to know the different. Thank you devotees. very much, Guru Maharaj. Thank you, Manaji. Thank you for your Thank participation. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. you. Thank you, Guruji. Hare Krishna, Sam. I'll wait for the next week. Okay. <laughs> Okay, Hare Krishna. Srila <laughs> Prabhupada ki. Hare Krishna. Jai. Jai. Back to Vrindaki. Jai. 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 Jai.